all know that rivets on Levi's jeans are a status symbol, and people pay extra for jeans with more rivets. But do you know why they were originally designed? Watch the video till the end to find out while exploring the history of Levi's jeans and the complete production process. From the designing, material preparation, cutting, pattern making, sewing, assembling, washing, branding, packaging, and shipping of the finished product. Every step of the process is a visual surprise. But first, let's travel back in time to where it all began. The history of Levi's jeans dates back to 1853 when Levi Strauss, a Bavarian immigrant, arrived in San Francisco and opened a dry goods company at the height of the California gold rush for selling clothing, blankets, and other goods to miners. He quickly realized the need for durable clothing for the miners flocking to the city. In 1872, he partnered with Jacob Davis, a Reno tailor, to develop a new process for riveting the pocket corners of men's pants to make them stronger. Strauss and Davis received a patent for their riveted pants in 1873. They put it on the market as waist overalls, and it quickly became popular with the miners and other working men. The first true blue jeans were produced in the same year. The rivets made them stronger and more durable, and the indigo dye gave them their distinctive blue color. In 1886, Levi Strauss introduced the Two Horse brand, a trademark featuring two horses pulling a pair of jeans apart. This ad campaign helped popularize the brand and its durability. In 1934, Levi Strauss introduced Lady Levi's, the first blue jeans for women. The red tab, the small red patch sewn onto the back pocket of Levi's jeans, was introduced in 1936 to differentiate the brand from its competitors. In the 1950s, Levi's jeans became popular with teenagers and young adults due to their association with rock and roll music and rebellion. By the 1960s, Levi's jeans had gone global. They were worn by people worldwide from hippies to cowboys. They became a symbol of American culture and continue to be popular today. Today, Levi's jeans are one of the world's most iconic and recognizable clothing items. Before 2019, Levi's jeans were produced in the United States. From 2019, most Levi's jeans are manufactured in China, Japan, Romania, Bangladesh, Bulgaria, Turkey, Vietnam, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, India, Italy, Cambodia, Poland, and Egypt. However, some models in the Levi's Premium and Levi's Vintage clothing brands are manufactured in the United States. This global leader serves its customers in over 100 countries through its 500 stores worldwide. The brand's frame is a result of its continuous evolution with the times while remaining true to its heritage. The company has expanded their range to cater to diverse tastes, offering various fits, finishes, and washes. Such a wide range of products and global customer reach yields high revenues for Levi's. The company's revenue was estimated at 2.88 billion US dollars in 2022, but it's not just the style that defines Levi's jeans today. The brand has taken steps for sustainability, implementing programs to reduce water usage and promote ethical manufacturing practices. As the times demand, Levi's has switched to an automated production process from the traditional manual processing. The automated production process has many benefits for Levi's. It allows them to produce jeans more quickly, consistently, and more cost-effectively than they could with manual labor. Automation reduces the labor time per pair of jeans from 36 minutes to 11 minutes. Let's see how Levi's manufactures these world-famous jeans. Step 1. Design and Development The Levi's design team comes up with ideas for new jeans, including how they should fit and look and scans physical samples of jeans to create a digital representation of the garment. This is done using a variety of scanning technologies, such as laser scanning and photogrammetry. After being scanned, the jeans are imported into 3D design software. This software allows Levi's designers to make changes to the jeans design, such as the fit, the wash, and the distressing. Once the design is finalized, the jeans are rendered in 3D, giving them a realistic appearance, including shadows, reflections, and textures. The digital patterns are put on a virtual model to see how the jeans would fit and look on a person. The virtual model allows designers to try different washes, 
distressing effects, stitching details, and other design elements. They can make changes and see how they would look without making new samples. Step 2. Material Preparation After finalizing the digital design, Levi's creates real samples to check the jeans fit, comfort, and overall appearance. If any adjustments are needed, they return to the digital model to make the changes and improve the design. For this purpose, Levi sources the materials for making jeans, especially denim fabric. Raw materials including denim fabric, buttons, zippers, and other components are sourced and prepared for production. In fabric production, Levi's uses recycled cotton to reduce the amount of water and chemicals used. They also use waterless finishing techniques, saving up to 90% of the water used in traditional finishing methods. Denim fabric is typically made from cotton grown in fields around the world and sourced from suppliers who manufacture high-quality denim. It is a water-intensive crop, so it is important to use sustainable farming practices. Once the cotton is ripe, it's harvested, usually by machines, but some farmers still harvest cotton by hand. Then, the cotton is opened up so that the fibers are separated from each other. This is done by passing the cotton through a series of rollers. The cotton is then cleaned to remove impurities such as seeds, dirt, and leaves, bypassing it through air jets and screens. The cotton fibers are spun into yarn on a spinning machine and then woven into fabric on a loom. The fabric is dyed in the desired color using a dyeing machine. It is now ready to be cut according to the patterns. Step 3. Cutting and Pattern Making Automatic cutting machines scan and analyze digital patterns specific to each Levi's jean style and size. Based on the patterns, the machines precisely cut the denim fabric into individual pieces, such as front and back panels, pockets, and waistbands. Automated systems also mark or engrave details like pocket placement onto the fabric pieces according to the stitching guidelines. Step 4. Sewing and Assembly Automated sewing machines, equipped with programmed stitching patterns and instructed by the marked guidelines, combine the denim fabric pieces. These machines perform various sewing operations including seams, hems, and attaching pockets and other components. Buttons, rivets, and zippers are attached to the jeans by robots or automated systems. Step 5. Washing and Finishing Levi's jeans' desired finish is achieved using automated washing machines and finishing systems. Levi's uses washing, stone, sandblasting, enzyme, and ozone finishing machines according to the order's specific requirements. Step 6. Quality Control Automated inspection systems and sensors detect defects, inconsistencies, or deviations in the Levi's jeans' production process. These systems scan the denim fabric and finished jeans, checking for stitching irregularities, improper sizing, or other quality issues. Identified defects trigger alarms or sorting mechanisms for immediate correction or removal from the production line. As Step 6. Reworking Garments The garments that are not up to quality standards are reworked. This may involve fixing the stitching or re-dyeing the fabric. Step 8. Branding and Packaging Automated heating or laser systems apply brand labels, tags, and other branding elements to the finished jeans. These systems ensure proper labeling with size, style, and care instructions. After this, Levi's jeans are folded and packaged by automated folding and packaging systems. Step 9. Shipping and Distribution Automated conveyor systems transport packaged Levi's jeans to the distribution area, ready for shipment to retail stores or customers. Automated sorting and tracking systems ensure accurate inventory management and efficient order fulfillment. And this is how Levi's jeans finally reach its customers. Now, if you're still wondering about the actual purpose of Levi's rivets, they were initially designed to prevent the seams from tearing by providing a strong and durable connection between the fabric and the stitching. The rivets were originally placed at the stress points of the jeans, such as the corners of the pockets and the fly. This helped prevent the seams from tearing when the jeans were subjected to heavy wear and tear. As a result of quality and durability, these rivets became a status symbol. 
So folks, this is all for today. Tell us about your favorite type of Levi's jeans in the comments section. My favorite is Levi's straight jeans. Thank you for watching this episode. Remember to hit the like and subscribe for new videos.